No, I'm serious. I do want valves. What's well, valves? It's a little hole in the wall place that opened the year after I was born. Okay. St. Cloud, East St. Cloud. Oh. It's like five blocks from the bar dad had. Y- you've mentioned this before. So we are now into mom and dad, Ann and Tony, Jake and or Car and Eric, and three of my four grandchildren, four generations of valves eaters. Mm. My middle granddaughter came home once slipping on something and you the thing is they always have the big straws because they have very thick shakes. Yep. So no matter what you order, you get a big straw. Yep. And I looked and I said, you went to Val's. And Jaden looks over at me. Her eyes sparkle and she said, yeah, we didn't bring you any. Sorry. <laughs> she's not sorry. No, she's out of the will. <laughs> okay. Who's teasing this time? I man? am. Okay. Tease. We're going to talk some stuff in England. So Vlad, be listening. Make sure we're okay. That's a tease right there, boy. Boy, I'll say. Like, subscribe, and follow. This is truly news. Like, subscribe, and follow. This is truly news. Like, subscribe, and follow. This is truly news. news. And then have your friends and family. Like, subscribe, and follow. This This is is truly news. news. We we represent the lollipop Lollipop guild. The lollipop. The little little kicking with the legs. is my. Yeah, I think that is actually very cute. Just just like, subscribe, and follow. Have others do that, and we'll be hunky and dory. Ah, we found Dory. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. Uh, Is Nemo with her? Headlines. Before my time. And you almost made it through that line. Very Pretty well close. done. Pretty close. Headlines. Addict stays awake for six days. Shoots man. Hides in Tim Hortons. I'm glad it had an S at the end. <laughs> Otherwise, Tim was going to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just, you know, you already haven't been asleep for a long time. Let's get coffee. <laughs> yeah, right. How could that hurt? Citizen. And this is a citizen update. Nearby incident, it's reporting. Report of man armed with pan making threats at 2190 Bacon Street. I will cook this bacon. You get me eggs, you're done. (laughs) But we're Bacon Street, sir. (laughs) From uh, Fox 5 in Los Angeles. Fox 5. Teen breaks into homes to respect women. I have my doubts. Right? Yeah. And even Martin Luther is looking askance. They uh they did a composite image of uh of one of the outer planets. Mm-hmm. It was an X-ray image. Mm-hmm. And an optical image was taken by the Keck One telescope. Mm-hmm. And the headline says mm. <laughs> Astronomers spot x-rays coming from Uranus. How did I know that? (laughs) Father of 23 kids only had sex at night because he thought sperm would sleep. I don't know. The first half dozen didn't give you a clue. (laughs) Right. Well, they're little people just like us. Why, Why wouldn't they sleep? Have you have you met the kids you've raised? <laughs> Apparently not. Wow. Uh, your turn. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Big Ben, the London Eye, Buckingham Palace. And now tourists can wet wipe island. Add that rascal to your list of musty attractions in England's capital. Did you say wet wipe island? Wet wipe island. Maybe it's pronounced different in English. Wet whippe island? <laughs> Weepe. I've always heard that in association with something completely different. The Times of London reported in June that in an island the size of two whole tennis courts and composed entirely of of used wet wipes has appeared in the Thames. Ooh. Government That's ministers. A pretty not clean thing. Yeah. Well, they're wet wipes. They clean up the entire river, I'm sure. Government ministers have asked people to please stop using the wipes. 
I hope before they end up in the Thames, and are considering a ban on those that contain plastic. Fleur Anderson. Fleur Anderson. Mm, fancy so name. He's Swedish and French. Well, yeah, the Swedo French. Uh, He's a Labor Party MP. That would be the left side, right? Labor Party is left. Suppose. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Said she has visited the site. Yep. I've stood on it. It's near Hammersmith Bridge in the Thames, and it's a meter deep or more. Why would she want to? Why would she want to? Uh, I have no freaking idea. What the hell? What it's actually. Do you it's use? actually. Ch- and do you wear water wings just in case? <laughs> and did she walk to it? Is what I'm wondering because it's the Thames. It's actually changed the course of the Thames, she said. Environmental Minister Rebecca Powell, or is it Poe? I mean, this glass go, would it be Poe? Uh-huh. Well, I like Powell and Poe. I like Powell Poe. Poe Powell. Why the hell do I talk to you? <laughs> The environmental minister named Rebecca something asked citizens not to please flush the wipes. Could you and not get a proposal off? for dealing with the problem would be forthcoming very shortly. If that thing ever joins up with that thing out in the Pacific Ocean, all the plastic and and then the wet wipes, it would be the cleanest environmental disaster <laughs> ever. Revelations. No, not the Bible kind. Something vastly more fun. My nine-year-old son took my iPhone and in less than five minutes sent high-res close-up shots of my dog's clenched sphincter to the following. My mom, my business partner, wife, guy I met, went to grad school with in 2000, HSBC, my accountant, San Diego Blood Bank, and Shake Shack's text bot. There's a burning question. It is. Why? <laughs> He's a nine-year-old. I suppose. You know, name when we were nine. If we had those, if we could get a hold of a phone, oh, we'd be that, in jail. Because we would. Have, yeah. I had a panic attack at my school dance and fainted. I woke up in a hospital bed with my friend sitting next to me. I looked over, and the first thing she said was, "You panicked at the disco, dude." Every, every day when I'm cooking, I pretend I'm on a cooking show. I talk the I talk talk the imaginary host through what I'm doing, crack the occasional joke to the amusement of the audience, and have my own catchphrase. You can always add more spice. <laughs> These confessions are ridiculous. Wow. I'm a big fan of Japanese culture. I read manga, watch anime, and listen to Japanese music on a daily basis. I keep it a secret because I find that most Japanese culture mega fans in the West are weird and creepy, and I'd rather not be associated with them. Kettle, pot, pot, kettle. And finally, I had a crush on this girl, Amy, for a long time. One night I was drunk and texted her and told her how much I liked her. She replied with LMFAO. Sorry, dude. Suppose that's better than who's this? <laughs> right. No. At least she knows your name. <laughs> yeah, that's about the only plus. <laughs> Naruno Daisuke. That'll sober you up real quick, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crap. Having your heart crushed. Yeah. And then you can go drink again. <laughs> Naruno Daisuke, a Japanese illustrator and manga. Is it manga or manga? You know, I don't know. I hear it pronounced both ways in in the U.S., and I now have is, no idea. Now, is manga the static, or is that the is manga the book, or is that the manga and anime are different? Yes, one is like static, the other is um, motion. Well, anime, anime. So one is, would be like a comic book, the other would be like a cartoon. So I think uh, anime is the cartoon. Fine. A Japanese illustrator and manga artist stumbled into a new hobby as he tried to pass the time during the old COVID lockdowns the past couple of years. According to the story we found at Oddity Central, he started collecting the various little items that became stuck in the tread of one's shoes. 
whatever gets you through the night, dude, or the you know pandemic. So he collected pebbles, glass fragments, and the like, Goose and laid poop. them out neatly on boards with grids. He said, when I was removing the pebbles caught in the groove on the back of my newly bought sneakers, I felt it was a waste to just throw them away and thought it would be interesting to collect them. Well, there you go thinking. Interesting to who? <laughs> to Although, what? you know, yeah. if you do it right, it could be artwork and then who knows? Yeah, exactly. He ended up with, a, if you're wondering, he ended up with 179 pebbles, 32 glass fragments and one nut. Well, two if you count him. Now he's considering Three further. If you count him, now Four. he's considering further categorization. Okay, his collection between his left and right shoes. He's going to have to open a museum, you know. Oh, sure he will. And watch this be his million dollar idea. And watch. And the scariest part is, it would probably work because we are a stupid species. Top to bottom. This is true, really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.